Juan Taxonomies for SharePoint 2010. Taxonomy Simplified. What is a taxonomy? A taxonomy is a data model for unstructured information. If I said, I'm going to be flying to the Big Apple next week, the human brain understands that the Big Apple means New York City. And New York City is a city in a state. A state is a narrower term to a country, and a country is a narrower term to a continent. The human brain organizes information using implicit taxonomies. We just developed a basic taxonomy for geography, continents, countries, states, cities. This is how the human brain automatically organizes information based upon all of the knowledge that the human brain has acquired since we were born. Implicit taxonomies are how the human brain organizes information. The explicit taxonomies that WAND has developed for the data facet solution are representations of how the human brain and enterprises organize information. These explicit taxonomies are used in SharePoint 2010 for tagging documents to organize them for indexing and search retrieval. Let's start with an overview of the WAN taxonomy. The base of the WAN taxonomy is the WAN preferred code. It's just a number, 123456. We then think of a concept, attorneys, legal services, law offices, solicitors, barristers. These words all mean the same thing. From those words, we select one of them, attorneys, to be our preferred term. We then associate to the term attorneys the synonyms, so we're starting now to build a thesaurus. We then add to that extended terms, terms that are not exact synonyms to attorneys, but terms that, when used by people, we have a reasonable degree of confidence that people are thinking of the concept attorneys. So what we have now is an expanded thesaurus, incorporating the terms that the enterprise uses. We then translate the preferred terms to 13 different languages and add appropriate levels of synonyms and extended terms to those languages. We now have a multilingual expanded thesaurus. This enables us to index documents and to search documents in multiple languages meaning the same concept. A taxonomy is a hierarchy. Remember, we were talking about geography, broader terms, countries and continents, narrower terms, states and cities. Think of the preferred term code now being golf equipment. Broader terms would be sporting goods equipment. Narrower terms to golf equipment, golf balls, golf clubs, golf tees, golf bags. Again, taxonomies organize the domain of golf equipment. If we go all the way up to sporting goods equipment, narrower terms to sporting goods equipment, cycling equipment, football equipment is an example, basketball equipment. All of these terms are narrower terms to sporting goods equipment. And this is a taxonomy that describes the domain of sporting goods equipment. So, the WAN taxonomies are simply representations of how we organize geography, how we organize sporting goods equipment, or how we organize food and beverage domains of information, or oil and gas domains of information, or pharmaceuticals, or any other topic of information. WAN taxonomies cover all enterprise domains of information. The WAN taxonomies cover the products and services that the enterprise sells, whether it's food and beverage, oil and gas, environmental, fashion and apparel, government, industrial equipment and supplies, and on and on and on. For any of these topics, WAN provides taxonomies that can address the products and services that a company sells. Additionally, WAND has taxonomies that cover all of the operational areas of the enterprise. Marketing services, human resources, engineering services, and others. 
for any of the operational areas. WAND has taxonomies to address document sets for these categories of information. Now, we would like to introduce the Data Facet solution for enterprise content management. Two different slides describe the philosophy of our Data Facet solution. Recognize, organize, and innovate. Recognize the hidden value in your enterprise content. Organize the valuable institutional knowledge. And innovate with the discovered intelligence. The macro philosophy. Number one, provide a curated foundation taxonomy for enterprise knowledge domains. If we have documents about food and beverage, we provide food and beverage taxonomies. Construction documents, construction taxonomies. Second, provide auto classification of documents to the taxonomies when they're checked in individually or in bulk into SharePoint 2010. Number three, provide taxonomy management tools to customize and perfect the foundation taxonomies. Number four, provide intuitive navigation and information discovery of the enterprise documents. The end result, extraordinary relevance of search results for the enterprise user. Now, let's review the Data Facet Enterprise Content Management Workflow. Step one, we start with a curated foundation taxonomy built from our portfolio of pre-built taxonomies. Step two, we augment and extend. We customize the foundation taxonomy for your specific business terms and concepts. Step three, we further refine the taxonomy with real-time interaction against sample documents. We test the classification rules and fine-tune the taxonomy results even further. Step four, we publish the tailored taxonomy to the taxonomy service. This is the auto classification service and the taxonomy service waits to be called from the annotator. Step five, Documents are checked in, either individually or in bulk, into SharePoint 2010. The Data Facet Annotator detects the check-in and passes the document to the Auto Classification Service. The Taxonomy Service matches the taxonomy rules and returns a list of categories to the annotator. The annotator adds the taxonomy information to the document metadata. The tag documents are added to the content repository where the new taxonomy metadata is available for use. The repository is periodically indexed or published to provide searching and faster navigation using the full text and the taxonomy metadata. The end result, extraordinary relevance for the end users. Now, let's take a quick look at the taxonomy manager and see how easy it is to use. We have already loaded in the food and beverage taxonomy. Here are the different narrower terms. We can look at the different nodes of the food and beverage taxonomy. Beverages, soft drinks, carbonated drinks. The term carbonated drinks and the various synonyms for carbonated drinks appear on our screen. On the left-hand pane, we can add additional nodes, we can delete nodes, we can copy nodes and move them around the taxonomy based upon how our enterprise organizes information. In the middle pane, we're able to look at the rules that are being used by the auto classifier when it's analyzing the text of documents being checked in to SharePoint 2010. Down below, we can see the number of documents in our sample collection. We can click on one of the documents and we can see what the document looks like from a web view, from a properties view, the matching categories, the plain text, and an explanation of the query. Based upon all of this information, we're able to customize the rules further, create include rules, exclude rules, proximity rules, and others. Now that we have customized our food and beverage taxonomy, 
we are going to check documents into SharePoint 2010. It's as easy as drag and drop. We drag a document, drop it into SharePoint 2010. The annotator is detecting the document. The auto classifier is finding those taxonomy terms in the document that match the food and beverage taxonomy. And we can easily see now what terms the auto classification service has added to the taxonomy metadata. The document that we just checked in has now been indexed and can be found using any one of these terms during the search process. A summary of the features and benefits of DataFacet for SharePoint 2010. Number one, auto classification. It's widely known that enterprise workers don't want to take the time to manually tag documents when they're checked in to the content management system. The data facet solution solves that problem. During the check-in process, documents are automatically classified to a consistent and accurate taxonomy describing that domain of information. Another major feature of the data facet solution, foundation taxonomies covering all different areas of the enterprise, all different taxonomies covering what enterprises sell and the various operational areas of the enterprise. These taxonomies can be used out of the box immediately for classification of documents. Taxonomy management tools. Powerful taxonomy management tools enable the customization of the foundation taxonomies to exactly how the enterprise organizes information. These powerful tools are easy to train and easy to use. SharePoint integration. When Juan began the development of the Data Facet solution for SharePoint 2010, we worked closely with Microsoft product managers to create the most efficient integration of Data Facet, taking full advantage of the new term store features in SharePoint 2010. Faceted search and navigation. Faceted Search and Navigation, another powerful feature of the Data Facet solution, enables the information worker to navigate using the taxonomies to find documents that they're looking for, concepts that they're looking for, and concepts that they hadn't thought of. Another powerful feature of the Data Facet solution, multi-language support. The Data Facet Foundation taxonomies are available in 13 languages, including English, Spanish, Portuguese, Japanese, Simplified Chinese, Traditional Chinese, French, Korean, German, Italian, Vietnamese. Enterprises that have documents in multiple languages can take advantage of this powerful multilingual capability. On behalf of all of us at DataFacet, Thank you very much for your attention and interest today. We hope that this presentation has been useful and we look forward to working with you in the future.